I'm Steve Palumbi. I'm a population biologist and geneticist at the Hopkins Marine Station. When you see a place that has a lot of sea urchins on it, some people call that an urchin barrens because the sea urchins are eating away at the algae that are living in the kelp forest, the kelp itself and then the understory algae. What's left behind if there are a few urchins around is a pink rock. That pink is a different kind of alga called a coralline alga, a pretty hard kind of alga for the urchins to eat. And the sea urchins might be interspersed between some sea anemones and some cup corals. If there's a lot of urchins, hundreds of urchins on a rock, then they'll eat even that away and there will be virtually nothing left. In a place that we could see in Monterey Bay now, seven or eight urchins on a rock is quite a few. But 80 years ago, there would be hundreds of urchins on that same rock. Why? Because 80 years ago, there were no sea otters. That all ended in Monterey Bay in 1963 when sea otters came back started eating through the urchin populations and letting the kelp forest grow back.